Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about default and static methods in Java 8. Java 8 introduced default and static method in interfaces to provide more flexibility and functionality. So before Java 8, the methods that were present inside the interfaces were abstract methods. And what are the abstract methods? A method that does not have any implementation, only have a declaration. And any class which implements that particular interface need to provide the implementation of the abstract method. But from Java 8, inside the interfaces, you can have a default and static method. Now let's understand what is a default method. A method in an interface that have a default implementation provide a default implementation that can be overwritten if needed. So first understand inside an interface. So this is an interface, my interface. Inside this interface, we have one method. The method name is my default method. And this should be provided with a keyword default. So once you provide a default keyword, then it is a default method. And you can provide the implementation of it inside the interface. And any class which implements this interface can use this particular default method. And you can also change the implementation of that method inside your class. We will see in the practical implementation how to do it. But remember one thing, the methods which are declared with a default keyword are the default methods and the implementation of default methods can be overridden. Second type of method is a static method. Methods is an interface that can be called without an instance of the interface. Implementation cannot be overridden if needed. Basically, a method which is declared using a static keyword is a static method. And static method implementation cannot be overridden in class means whatever implementation you have provided in the interface that can be used by the implementing classes. And to call this method, you don't need to create the object of class because it is a static, it can be called with the help of interface name. So that is the theory about default and static methods in Java. Now let's see practical implementation of it. So here I have created a project called Java. Inside this Java, I have one package interface and inside these interfaces, I have two Java classes and one interface. So basically this is my interface, my interface. Then I have a class called my class and my third class is the main class, which is having the main method. Now what we will do inside this interface, we will declare one method. Let's first declare an abstract method. Let's say we have a method which will return nothing. and It will say print. This is a method. So by default, any method which is inside the interface is an abstract method. So this is an abstract method because it does not have any implementation. And let's say now my class is a class which implements the my interface. Implements my interface. That is the name of my interface. Now once this class implements my interface, it will give an error. What does the error say? It says the type my class must implement the inherit abstract method my interface dot print. So basically when you click on this error, you can add the unimplemented method. So what is the un unimplemented method? It is a print method because we have added the print method inside this interface. So this method should be implemented by the implementing class, which is my class. So here you need to provide the implementation of it. So what I will do, I will just print here sysout print method. We can say abstract print method because this is an abstract method, right? Abstract print method inside my class. This is a class which is containing this method print. Now, inside the main class, we will create the object of my class and we will call this method print. Now here we will create the object of my class. I will say my class vj is equal to new my class. And once I say obj dot, then we will get the print method. So this is a method here. And now if I try to run this code, let's see the output. So here we are getting the output abstract print method inside my class. So this is a expected behavior, right? Now what we want to see 
we want to add default method inside this my interface class so let's add a default method so let's say here i declare a method called void my default this is a method name my default now if i declare this method in this way so by default it will be abstract method right because when you want to declare a default method you need to provide a keyword called default so here i can say default once i provide a default keyword then i need to provide the implementation of this method because if i don't provide implementation it will give me a error and what does the error says this method requires a body instead of semicolon so this means you need to provide the implementation of this method so here i can say sysout and here we will say default method default method in my interface so this is a method by default which is present inside my interface interface and this is the implementation we have provided now my class is the class which is implementing the my interface so you don't need to write this particular method inside my class because once you implement this my interface this method will also be present inside this class and now from main class if i directly try to access here obj dot then you can see we have a my default method also and if i try to run this code now we will get the output here default method in my interface because implementation is provided inside the my interface right implementation is provided inside the my interface interface and inside this class we are not overriding it we are using the same implementation now in the same way we will declare the static method to declare a static method we need to make use of static keyword right so we will say a yes, static so here we will say static static void and let's say my static is the name here my static here we will say sysout and static method in my interface let's save it now we have three methods inside my interface one is a abstract method then we have a default method then we have a static method and this particular interface is implemented by class called my class and we have provide the implementation for abstract method and we are not overriding any default method here so once you implement this interface by default this class can access the methods of my interface so it can access these two methods right and from this main class what we will do we will try to access the static method so i will say here obj dot then it will provide all the methods that are accessible so here i can so i am not getting here my static method why right? because this is a static method and this can be directly accessed by the interface name so what i can do i can directly say here my interface my interface dot my static because this is a static method that can be called with the help of interface name here we have seen here methods in, in an interface that can be called without an instance of the interface so that can be directly called with the help of name of interface so once i save it and run here you could see we are getting the output static method in interface default method in interface abstract method inside my class so this was the use of static methods and default method inside the interface so why we generally need them so let's say in your class you need to have some default method and static method and this particular interface is also implemented by some other classes so they don't need to provide the implementation for it they can directly make use of the implementation that is provided in the interface in the next video we will see how we can override the default method inside the class